are all of the volunteer firefighters. We have them, just not enough. And that could ignite a crisis in Rhode Island. NBC10 I-Team reporter Tamara Sikarsik looked into the recruitment issues. Sounding the alarm. We're an aging population. On a recruitment crisis. Ten years from now in Rhode Island, we're going to have an issue. So that's why we're making this plea to the public to uh, consider joining a volunteer fire department. Kevin Quinn has been a volunteer firefighter for 48 years, a position that people used to line up for. It's clearly not for the money, so why become a volunteer firefighter? Helping your neighbors, you know, and I think that's what draws us and keeps us in the vo volunteer service. But volunteers are becoming harder to find. Over the past four decades, the U.S. population has increased more than 40 percent. The number of emergency calls has tripled, but volunteer firefighters have fallen by about 200,000. What's changed? I think what you had is a lot of generational firefighters, family members, their grandfather, the father. We don't have that much anymore. Over 39 percent of fire departments in Rhode Island are volunteer. Another 23 percent are mostly volunteer including the Hope Valley, Wyoming Fire District, which handles about 500 calls a day. We're a combination department, so we have uh, three paid staff in the day for responders, and the rest are all volunteer. Chief Justin Lee says volunteer firefighting has become more demanding. The time is increased with training needs, the total calls has increased, and then the time we ask them has increased. As a result, stations have shuttered across the country, forcing neighboring departments to pick up the slack. If we can't get out the door, then it's going to take a longer response from another town. Your house is going to probably burn down more likely than not. It's why Justin Pruno began volunteering for the Union Fire District in South Kingstown, where he lives, despite working part-time paid in Lincoln. Volunteering and paid is the same job, uh, but trying to recruit volunteers is definitely going to be tougher. Are you one of the younger volunteer firefighters that you know of? Yes. <laughs> to extinguish the trend, fire stations are getting creative. The Hope Valley, Wyoming Fire District has a recruitment and retainment officer, along with the junior firefighting program, something South Kingstown is also starting up. So we're going to have 20 students every year, year after year, that are going to be that pipeline for volunteers into our system. New efforts now to prevent a crisis later. We need to recruit, retain, and replace volunteers like myself. If you're interested in becoming a volunteer firefighter, we have resources on our website at turn2ten.com. For the NBC 10i team, I'm Tamara Sikarczyk.